What's up guys, BTBS here, welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies 2. I'm just kicking it by my uh, my sifting setup here. Stuff is going pretty damn well. So, um, yeah, I spent a little bit of time doing some stuff. I got a, um, a hardened energy cell, which, uh, if you do not remember, is the leadstone energy cell upgraded... Basically, any redstone I got, I put towards that, and any iron I got, I put towards these upgrades. Um, so, yeah, here's the interesting thing. This takes 6 RF a tick on its own. With 64 speed upgrades, it takes 81 RF a tick, and runs pretty damn fast, as you can see. Um, but, if you want some fortune in there, so, you know, more items per thing... It goes from 81, and this is just 16 of them, <laughs> it pretty much doubles it to 161 RF a tick. So my idea is basically let this hardened energy cell get some energy in it, and then just sift like a stack of things. You see I get like three, four things from everything I sift. And uh, yeah, it's been working out very well for me. So I built a couple new um, chests. I don't know if I ever actually showed you this. So this is the chest building thing. And you choose how many columns and how many rows you want. This is an 18 by 9. 18 wide, 9 deep. And that's a, that's a big ass chest. That's like 81. Um, no, I can't remember how many it is. I don't know. When you uh, pick up the chest, that's an 81. 8 by 9. 9 by 9, sorry. So an 18 by 9 would be, what, 162? And yeah, this is like pretty much done an entire stack already. <clears throat> so I'm getting plenty of redstone and stuff out of it now. It just took a little bit of uh, a little bit of time and patience for me to build up the supplies to then upgrade with. And that just that's done already. And I can do the same thing with the speed upgrades in here for hammering stuff. And if you put the fortune stuff in there when you're hammering, then you get more every time you break like um an iron dust or whatever, every time you break that down you get more out of it. <clears throat> so yeah, I've been playing around with that and it seems to be working pretty well. I'm stockpiling a few sets of dust and stuff. I've been also been using the pulverizer, but the pulverizer are not all that good. Especially since if I take these out and then get rid of a few of these, I can get this down to the point where it takes 39 or 41 RF a tick. And it's faster than a pulverizer is, basically using the same amount of energy. So, the, uh, well, I mean the hammer is, sorry. Yeah, so the hammer is probably better than the pulverizer if you're just going to be using it for making, um, like, dust, sand, and gravel. So, um, I wanna, what I want to do is see if I can knock some of these quests off. So, workshop table, charger, production speed, auto crafting, solar generator. I want to see if I can build some of these, so... I believe it is Steve's workshop on its own anyway. Um, one second, let me just check. Yeah, I do need an auto crafter. So let's uh, see if we can build anything. So an auto crafter is basically a blank upgrade and a piston. Blank upgrade is basically stone and wood. Stone and... Oh, that's bone melt. There's wood. Uh, put that away. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I'm starting to use actual physical barrels placed in my base for uh, holding stuff. It's a good way of doing it. It works well. That's why I've always done it before. I also require some st uh, cobblestone. That's the name of it. Iron and wood. Make a couple pistons because you use them for a lot of these machines and stuff. And yeah, there we go. There's an auto crafter. And we need a charger, which is this one. And then we need a production speed. That's going to be nice. Oh, I need two lapis. Lapis. I'm actually going to take eight lapis and make. I'm going to make one of these, and then see if it's a global or a uh, normal. 
Works with crafting tables. Stacks up to eight items. So is this a global or a normal upgrade? This is a normal upgrade. I want four of those. Because these are all things for the table, by the way, and I want one for every single one. Or, oh man, yeah, so I could put all of them in one. And then, um, let me put this away. Grab some wood. And we can see just how fast it will be compared to the others. Oh, damn! Five times faster. Oh, okay. I'm building a, so many of those. And what else do we need to finish off this quest? We need a solar generator. Which requires a glass and a glow. There's a glow. There should be some glass here, or did I use it all? Looks like I used it all. And it's raining again. Um, do do. Give me a few of these. Okay, that's really cool how fast you can make this shit run. I'm loving it. Uh, do, do, do. Now, build a solar charger. Nope. What the? Don't put that down. What am I doing? Right, yeah, let's put that away. And I'll check this. And it gives me a fuel efficiency upgrade. Which I think is something I actually already made. Yeah. I can put another one in there though. And I can put that in there. And it will just generate its own power from the sunlight. That's pretty cool. Crafter. Right, let me dump these in there. Because that's what that box is for. That's a charger. Let's idle components charge up for later. Meaning what? Oh! No fucking way! Is this gonna queue four cooks? Is this actually gonna get to the point where I can just... I can just queue it up and be like, the next four cooking operations you do are gonna be instantaneous. Oh! What?! That, that is in fucking credible. That is actually like unbelievable. As in, I literally could not believe that is a thing you can do. That is so good. Charger. What am I missing? Iron, redstone. Oh, right, yeah, my redstone is still in block form. Duh. Please tell me these stack. Stacks up to eight times. So I can just stick all of those in there. Let that thing charge up 20 charges. And then I can throw 20 items in there and have them all done at once. That is ridiculous. Especially seeing as I can make this fucking thing generate power from solar generations. Stacks up to four times. Doesn't stack. So the fuel efficiency, I can stack four of those as well. Holy fuck. This, um, Steve's workshop seems a little too powerful. Um, yeah, especially seeing as these, uh, stack up to eight times, and five of them is 20 charges, which is 32 charges overall. So I could have a table, which is four furnaces, each of which cooks super fast on its own, but also stores... 20 fucking charges and we'll just cook on its own also for some reason every time I cook I get two fuel out of it two charcoal I don't know if that's from the table or just 
something that happens when you um, when you do it with that. Uh, put the dust in there. Yeah, I don't know where that's from, but damn. Okay, um, stone chopper. I I'm not a massive fan of those because that is the uh, the item from that mod which I was playing around with and didn't work. At least I couldn't find out. I couldn't figure out a way to make it work, so I gave up on it. Because I'm not spending an entire half hour video trying to work out how to make something do what it should do. You know? 16 salmon. Nice. Uh, stone generator. Stone generator. I require six iron, two gold, and a block of redstone. If I don't have enough redstone, I do. Of course I do. I was going to say, if I don't have enough redstone in there, I'll just leave it for a few episodes down the line. But of course I had enough redstone. I don't have enough iron, though. I did just use an absurd amount of iron. Let me do something. Iron or dust. There we go. Just uh, slam that in there. Yeah, I had to make an awful lot of um, invar to make all those things. Because all those uh, upgrades I've got, you get two of them for every craft. And every craft requires four um, invar. So basically, it's two invar per upgrade. Um, what have we got in here? Bakeware, flour, and fish. Don't know how that works. Or is it mixing bowl? I can never remember the exact order for things. Or recipe, I should say. Bakeware, flour, and raw fish. Oh, that's cooked fish. Oh. Well, that is almost worthless to me then. Fair enough. So let me take a look at this stone chopper. Yeah, it looks like the same. It, exactly the same as the other machine which I made and hated so for now you can just sit in that box and wait now pour me a couple of blocks of iron munch some toast quickly num, 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 num. so yeah stone generator and then um, oh get an actual bucket of witch water I can do that Ooh, doo -doo. I never bothered storing it in a bucket before. There. Really? There. It's actually very convenient because a fucking Enderman stole one of my pieces of mycelium. So I can replace that. Okay, make some soul sand. Reward. More soul sand. Get an ender pearl. Reward. Ender pearl. Oh, I see. It expects you to use the auto summon thing that you can do where you can summon them by placing a creepy doll into a barrel and it expects you to use that but I um, I just got Enderman legit because I had I had trouble getting rid of my Enderman that's how many I had so I actually didn't need to uh, make the barrel okay there's the RF engine and I need another block of redstone. Fucking really? Come on, dust. Don't fail me now. You are... I love this machine. It is absurdly fast. And uh, you guys know that that's one of my... Uh, one of my favourite things that a machine can be is either drastically efficient or absurdly fast. So here's a stone generator. Okay, so a stick gives 2,000 RF, whereas in here, a stick gives 5,000 RF, and in here, it gives 15, 12, 1,500. Okay, so this is slightly better than the furnace generator, and since I'm basically just feeding everything here off of 
all this charcoal anyway, I might as well feed it. 40k, yeah, plus 40 RF a tick. All of its RF is being fed into the network. <laughs> Just refill these every now and again. There we go. Oh, that's like half full already. What I really need to do is just get a few more speed upgrades so that I can put them in there and use this to uh, <coughs> to just make a whole bunch of all the stuff I want it to, like that. I'm actually running out of cobble. There we go, this is back up to 64 again. I can take some more out of there. So yeah, we'll leave that uh, work running over there. And where's my quest book? Because building that generator got us a quest complete. 16 coal. The next one is build an automatic sieve and then build an automatic hammer. Nice. Well then, I might as well stick that dust in there. Uh, it's only running 109 RF a tick, but it's better than nothing. Um, that got us some extra coal, which I can put in there. And it also got me a stack of dust, I believe, which I put in there, yeah. And a greater bag. Come on, lucky bag! Two pig, chicken, cow, and sheep. Okay, I can dig that. I actually... Um, really want to build a thing, like an animal pen, but I'm just not sure about some of the rules of this map. So I'm going to build an animal pen to uh, to have it. Sifting grass. Okay, get a tiger wood sapling. Alright. Uh, precious doll. Which I believe is just porcelain clay and a diamond or emerald, yeah. Emeralds are really, really not valuable in this map, I must say. Because they're supposed to be, but you get them for killing zombies, and all you need to do is build that, and you end up in this situation. With just stacks of ender pearls and a shitload of, um, yeah, five is enough, and a shitload of emeralds. Do I have any clay? I don't see any. Where would my clay be? No, okay, um... So hammer, I need you to hammer that for me real quick, that'll do. Always helps to have a little more than you're going to need. I mean it probably doesn't, but I just do that anyway. Shovel, oh yeah by the way, this is what my shovel looks like right now. It's in stupid condition. It looks like a pickaxe, or the, um, it looks a little like that thing, um, the, the Rod of Hell, the Bat Summoning Scepter. There's a precious doll, which is that quest, and the reward is a second precious doll. Now if I can, if I can make it angry, I can do that. I actually can. Um, where is my sifting cell? Here. So, one redstone. Two glowstone. So, I'm going to need to uh, take one of these out. By the way, yeah, that's how much glowstone I've got. I've got like over a quarter stack of uh, blocks. Uh, uses for that, make that. There's my angry doll, which is a rat. Oh, a blaze rod. Okay. Uh, this one is to go to the nether. Special areas around the world where traders appear or boss monsters can be fought. No, thank you. I do not want to go after a boss. What am I wearing armor-wise? I'm wearing wooden armor with a pair of stolen pimp legs. 
Yeah, I am really, really not interested in that. What's this? Get a ghast tier. Reward a ghast tier. That's just so stupid. Okay, um, so that's the ender cake. That's the sifting grass. And that's pretty much all we've got left. 40 quests. So yeah, there's four quests left in there. I have another quest completed somewhere? Oh, power grid. Oh my god, I unlocked this. I want to know what this one is. Build a survivalist generator. 32 coal. Awesome. I finally unlocked this one. I've been waiting so long to unlock that and I had no idea how to fucking do it. Right, let's take a look at what's here. Uh, make a culinary generator. Build a clockwork engine. Really? Build a solar panel one. Build a wind power. Okay, I mean, these quest lines aren't fantastic. Culinary generator. It's the white one. Oh, it's a survivalist that you have to upgrade. I mean, it gets the quest knocked out and it gives me some supreme pizza. So, I suppose. I, ha I have added this to my uh, network recently, which is like super good. Good. Do, do, do. Take this, put it. Was it there? Culinary. Right. Uh, iron. I need two redstone. I did just sift a stack of uh, dust. But, uh, two redstone. And I also need... <laughs> More furnaces. Oh, there's the culinary generator, which gives me some supreme pizzas, which is one of the best foods in the game. Wholesome feast. And that also leads on to potion generator. Interesting that they would reward me with a leadstone energy cell for building a potion generator. I mean, yeah, it literally takes fucking obsidian and an enchantment table. I still haven't built my enchanting table. But yeah, let's take a look at this. This would generate 120k RF at 50 RF a tip, roughly. Whereas my toast generates 55k at 30k a tick. At 30 RF a tick. 30k a tick. Jesus Christ. I don't even know what you would do with something that generated at 30k a tick. You know what I really need to do? is uh, find something to do with my potatoes. Because I got a lot of them growing. I need a fisher, that's what I really need, so I can make myself fish dinners. Because good old fish dinners are uh, very good for you. But for the fisher, you need MFR plastic. And it looks like, yeah, block of plastic or plastic raw. Um, Ruler, yeah, rubber bar. So I need rubber or ball of glue, which means I need rubber wood or horses. Yeah, it refuses to admit that you can get it from horses. Um, yeah, so I'd need uh, rubber wood, so I would need the rubber sapling. Which I really don't think I've got. And if I did have it would be in here. Or in here, which is a no. So what if I sifted out some dirt? Because I've still got this over here. And presumably that's how you get it. Rubber sapling comes from rubber tree seeds. Yeah, 2% chance from dirt. I don't know exactly how the fortune ability on my sieve works, but I feel like with 
the 16 I've got, 33 dirt should be more than enough. Look at how fast that is. Ooh, cactus seeds. Sugar cane, acorn, potatoes. Okay. That is giving us an awful lot of stuff. Rubber tree! Bonk. Uh, I wonder if the bone mill bug still exists. Because that was a weird one. If you bone milled a rubber tree sapling that had no chance of growing, it would change into a, uh, a sacred rubber tree sapling for a moment. Whoa, what? I'm sorry, harvest level bronze? You, you have to have at least a bronze axe to be able to cut down rubble wood. Oh, that is horrible. I love it. Now I have to upgrade my axe. Tee hee. It's also the first time I've ever seen something like that done. Did I not get a uh, sapling from that? Damn. Well, uh, I got some raw rubber. And I can slam a jammer that in the top there and get it automatically cooked. And then I can slam a jammer it back in the top and get the raw plastic. Do that, which is now enough raw plastic. And since this is still part kind of the tech thing, I'm going to keep it in there. I really need to empty my inventory. Close enough. Fisher. We're going to need... Is those iron gears? I think they are... Well, there's eight iron. Oh, there's already five in there. That's convenient. That I was just I just happened to be lazy enough or forgetful enough to uh, actually help us along here. And then that is a redstone gold. I've got that. I need two buckets, basic machine frame and a fishing rod. Fishing rod I don't have, but I can get. Go and that. There's the fishing rod. I've got a bucket, so I just need one more. That's melted, so we can grab that. Oh, I wonder what I have to do to unlock the um. Uh, Nope, I'm completely blanking. What did I want to unlock? Quest line. What quest line was it? There's a fisher. Woo! Um, assembly line. Oh, I've actually unlocked assembly line. Um, applied engineering. I wonder what I have to do to unlock that. So, oh yeah, fisher was the first thing in assembly line, wasn't it? Build a filter and a retriever. And that rewards me with a heart. Really? Is that all? I mean, if I was playing hardcore mode, I would have lost the game by now. Uh, the next one is an auto spawner and a safari net, and it gives us a safari net single use. Can't beat that because it's not unlocked yet. But we have a fisher now, which we should be able to just say put right about here. Eh. Like that. And then we just need to give it power, so I'm going to take this. And then along with power, it needs somewhere to store its items, which is going to be this. So I put that there, and this stone generator here, and feed the generator. No, its power's not going into the fissure. Interesting. Is the fisher a bit of a dicky item? Let me just snag that for a second and see if it requires this. I don't like it when items require uh, power cables. Because it means that uh, 
they're just a lot more annoying to use. Yep, it requires a power cable. Well, that sucks. Um, redstone one. Is that all the redstone we've got? No, it is not. Um, six redstone. Glass. Two lead. There's more leadstone cables. Now that we can afford to make them, why not? Okay, I have no idea exactly how the fisher works. Like, is this it running? So it's got. It's using its energy. Okay, so this is gaining 100 energy every once in a while. So the fisher only uses, like, what, 30 RF a tick or so then? So this is actually a waste having all of it there. What I will what I will do in a bit is just build it over here and connect the fissure to my network, which I now can actually say I have a power network, which uh, feels pretty good to say. So yeah, um, I will just connect it to there, probably like underground. Who knows? But yes, I will connect that up in a bit, and well, that's that quest done. And yeah, we actually unlocked some new stuff. So, I can't wait to start breaking into Power Grid, because it says there's, um, 11 quests, and we only have... Oh, wait, is that all 11 of them? Oh, Six unlocked, yeah. Damn, that's really short for power progression. Like, it's basically build a potion generator, then build an 8x culinary, and then build a 64x culinary. Huh. That's a shame. I better not get through this pack too quick. I wanna... I wanna play this pack for months. And so far I've been playing it for days. I want this pack to last a very, very, very long time. Right. Uh... Take... No, take all the gravel. Feed the gravel back into the system. Uh, you need these. There you go. No, take the big stack. That's what I need to do next, is get another 44 of those. But that's actually going to have to wait until next time for you guys, because that is over half hour. So, um, that's going to be the episode for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I am loving this pack. I am loving it. Even if there are a few mods which piss me off. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.